Hey guys, Liam here. Valve just recently put up another smaller upgrade for Proton Experimental. The special version of Proton that they put in all the new goodies before it goes anywhere else. Proton being the translation layer to help run more games designed for Windows on Steam Deck and Linux desktops. The update for January 13th includes a fix for A Plague Tale Innocence, showing the on-screen keyboard when starting the game specifically on Steam Deck, a fix for rendering issues during cutscenes in Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell, they fixed Japanese keyboard input in Final Fantasy XIV Online, they fixed Football Manager 2023 crashing when trying to return from a player profile. They fixed an experimental regression from a previous version of Proton Experimental in Fallen Labyrinth where it started crashing on some setups. And they also improved Chinese, Japanese and Korean characters rendering in multiple games including Nobunaga's Ambition Salzel with Power Up Kit, which I've probably not pronounced correctly, I've probably just murdered that. But anyway, I imagine that we'll see a lot more focus and fixes on issues with Asian text in Proton and Steam directly over the next year, with the Steam Deck actually rolling out across certain Asian regions now. And it's nice that even more people will be able to enjoy gaming on Steam Deck no matter where you are. Now, a quick reminder on how to actually use Proton Experimental. You first need to pick a game in your library and go along to the settings icon on the right and into the properties menu. Select compatibility on the left, tick the box on the right and select Proton Experimental from the drop down box. If you don't actually have it installed, you can just search for Proton in your Steam library and all versions of it show up so that you can pick one to install if you don't have it right now. To actually update it, just go into your Steam downloads and it will show up as a regular update just like games and applications installed via Steam do as well. You can also override the version of Proton used across the whole of the Steam Deck if you have developer options turned on and then in the actual developer menu just scroll down to the Steam Play heading and pick the version you want from the drop down box. As always I hope you found that quick news tip helpful, be sure to like and subscribe and give me a virtual high five and I'll see you during the week for another video.